If you need your audience to read text within a scene or pay attention to what's happening on a TV, computer, or phone screen in the world you've created, there's no universal technique and few hard rules. But sometimes limitless options make it difficult to decide which approach you should take. So here are a few scenarios and techniques you can adapt to your screenplay. If you want your audience to read in-world text like on a sign, the billboard reads in large stark letters. How come, that? Chief Willoughby? A handwritten note? She writes on a piece of paper with a shaky hand. Will it come back? And slides it to Reuben. Or a flyer. There's a slip of paper stuck under the windshield wiper. Giddis pulls it off. It says, save our city. Los Angeles is dying of thirst. Vote yes, November 6th. Citizen committee to save our city. Then the easiest thing to do is integrate the text into your narrative description and identify it with quotation marks. Some writers prefer to emphasize readable text in bold, underline, all caps, or some combination. Others take things even further by moving readable text onto its own lines, sometimes tabbed or centered below the description. As we reveal a sign near the stage announcing this is the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals. Occasionally, the text is even stylized to reflect the in-world appearance. This approach directs the mind's eye to give the text prominence and is usually interpreted as a close-up, though it doesn't have to be. As long as it's clear in context that the emphasized bit is in-world text, the emphasis itself is mostly a stylistic choice. If you've watched the previous videos in this series, then you know there's another way we indicate close-ups for a prop in a scene. Secondary headings. Marty pulls out the Save the Clock Tower flyer from his pocket. He shows the backside of the flyer to Brown. Insert flyer. The front side includes a photocopy of a Hill Valley Telegraph article with a picture of the clock tower stopped at 10.04. The headline, Clock Tower Struck by Lightning. A subject or insert heading will deliver largely the same effect with a bit less flair. But remember, if you choose this approach, you need to clearly indicate when we return from the close-up with a back-to-scene or other contextual cue. Screens are handled in very much this same manner. If you want the reader to imagine a close-up of a screen, then a secondary heading or opening technical direction is probably the route to take. Computer screen. It glows in incandescent blue, an image depicting the electronic type on screen. You are standing in the cavern of the evil wizard. All around you are the carcasses of slain ice dwarves. But if what's on screen is only part of a wider imagined shot, then you might be better off incorporating it into the general description. Peter goes to log off on his computer, saving his work first. He clicks on something. On the screen, we see the hourglass icon and hear sounds of the hard drive. Peter taps his fingers, waiting nervously for it to finish. This often takes the form of on the screen, such and such happens, and you sometimes see it all capped like a technical direction. But you could just as easily reference scrolling on a phone. Cat lays in a makeshift bed of blankets, scrolling through Skylar and Nick's Instagrams. They're both total f boys, constantly shirtless, their arms draped around random hot girls, none of whom look like Cat. Or moving between screens or windows. He switches Facebook accounts to Krista, his therapist. More happy pictures of families, vacations, friends. Just be careful with the term on screen since it already has its own meaning in filmmaking, usually referring to something being in frame. We're actually seeing the thwips on screen. Remember, there's no one correct way to approach these moments. 2018's Searching unfolds entirely on a computer screen and they developed their own unique scene headings where the locations were apps and websites. Google, Linux web browser. David searches Margot Kim's social media San Jose and opens the first link in a new tab, but Instagram website, Linux web browser. Her Instagram profile is private. As long as you're clear and consistent within your script, you can make almost anything work. Television screens can be a bit more difficult to navigate because they're essentially scenes within scenes. If whatever is happening on the TV set is pretty simple, you can just incorporate it into the description like we did with other screens. The TV is on, more coverage of the alien landing. But if whatever is playing on the TV deserves the reader's full attention, it's usually a good idea to use a secondary heading and treat what's happening on the screen as its own little scene. A mom, 40s, and her teen daughter, 14, watch TV. The bachelor type show they're watching is interrupted. Close up, TV screen. An emergency broadcast screen with the presidential seal. So now you know how to format any screen or text within a scene, but text imposed over a scene, like dates and locations, are handled in their own unique way. Which is why you should check out this video on Chiron's, Super's, titles, and other overlaid text.